I thought I'd just say something about our recycling activities. We compost all the leaves that you find on the nursery, so I'm under a large magnolia tree, and all these leaves, you must be wondering what we do with them. So these leaves are never wasted. So we sweep the leaves up, and then I will show you where we take them because we have a huge, huge compost pile. And while I've got the digger here, our digger is taking out the old compost. So as I walk towards this pile, this pile here are the leaves that we've been collecting for the last three years. So we always have two piles on the go. So this pile is a pile of leaves that we, these were collected last autumn and below that are the leaves which have been here for maybe the last three years and where the boys are now digging this is compost that has been rotting for the last five years and you can see the beautiful soil that there is here look at that black crumbly soil and this is just leaf mold so all this we collect and this goes back into our planting fields and this is how we recycle the leaves and this is lovely rich soil for growing our plants. I also mix it in some of the soil that we plant our uh, field grown trees so we don't always use proper compost but this is our own homemade compost. So look at that lovely black soil that we're getting out. All homemade compost and piles and piles of it. There you go. Another glorious day. Today is Saturday and it's the 27th. I think I've lost track of days uh, of March. It's a glorious spring day. And we're still continuing to dig the trees that are uh, salvageable. So I have here a stump of a large prunus. This was the understock of a plum tree. And we didn't want the plum tree. So we're trying to get the stump out and hopefully we will make it into bonsai. My gosh, these boys have worked so fast. He's got it out already. That was quick. So that great big stump we can probably break down into several trees. So not to be wasted. So let's see the progression of this. Just digging all these rhododendrons out. We're going to get everything out and start again. Talking of the understock, let me explain to you what I mean by the understock. Now this is a plum tree. This is a plum tree. You see that the top of the tree hasn't started flowering. So you wonder why there's a shoot that has got flowers at the bottom. Now this is what we call an understock. This tree is grafted at that point and this is the true um, plum that we're trying to grow. But this part is what we call the understock and this is what we don't want. So if you want the tree to grow into a proper plum tree, you've got to get rid of that one. Otherwise that will take over and will ruin the, the fruiting part of the tree. You can see that we have a big digger here. So we've been digging plants out from my own garden. These are plants and shrubs that have got out of control and I'm trying to restore the garden. So 
I'm clearing the rubbish here, but what may be rubbish to most people, usually to bonsai people, they are very, very useful. So if you just look at something I just dug out from the hedge, pity I didn't have the camera ready at hand to film it, but this great big hawthorn was dug out from the hedge over there. Steve, if you point over there, that is where it came out from, from the hedge. And those are the branches that we pruned back. So it had grown to about eight, nine feet tall. And this is the trunk. But you look at the base there. Although it's got a long root, I'm going to plant it back in the ground. And I'm sure it will grow again. But I don't want the tree that tall. So if I can get Josh to cut it back. The beauty of the tree is in the trunk. So we can cut it back to about here and to about here. And then we will have the makings of a nice bonsai. Yeah. And we cut, cut any of those. Cut maybe a little lower than that. And maybe because there's a leader there, we cut it here. Here, over here. Keep that as a leader. Watch your hand. So this will end up as a big bonsai. So as I said, we can't put this in a flower pot just yet because the roots are very long. But all the feeder roots are there and over here. So I'm sure it will survive. And let's go to another extreme. These are hedging honeysuckle. All these green... Uh, plants here are a type of hedging plant and although it may not seem very promising if you were to look at each tree in detail look at this one here look at the base we can get a very nice small bonsai out of it okay that's a bit too straight that's a bit too straight So there you go, there's a small bonsai we got out from there. So nothing is ever wasted. So if we were to go through any of these, let's look at what we can do. You see there are hundreds of plants. So again, you can understand why I'm trying to get rid of it. They're so prolific. They keep suckering from the base and they keep spreading like wildfire and I can't keep control of it. So this tree, if we were to get them separated, my god, from that one clump I'll get about three trees from there. So if you want small bonsai, again, look at the beauty in there. If I didn't want it to grow there, I can probably make it grow that way. So I've got a small bonsai out of that. You see, that could be a nice bonsai. So all these, there are hundreds and hundreds of plants that we can make. See that one again? If we wanted to, we can split it. That might survive. There's a bit of root. That could be a small tree. So we're going to make loads of these small trees so i haven't finished all if you look there there's all that to be dug up all that's going to be dug up and we're going to salvage all these trees so these will either be given away see it's a small everywhere you look a small mommy bonsai so there you go so in this patch where we're tidying the garden we've salvaged so much so it is really bonsai for free again uh, yes, oh yes, let's come around here. We dug a holly up because a holly seedling had grown in the hedge and we didn't want it to grow in that place. So every year I used to cut it back. If you go low, Steve, you can see I used to keep cutting it back, but it keeps sprouting. 
So what am I going to do with this? There is a beautiful bonsai in there. Whenever you dig a tree, it is always worth uh, reducing the foliage because it makes less demands on the root system. So it helps the tree to recover more easily. So this tree, it's nice from every side. If you come this side as well, can you bring the lopus please, Josh? But you can see the roots, beautiful roots we've got out of that tree. And look at the base of that tree. There you are, some of these dead branches can be taken out. This can be taken out. Can you lop this one off for me, Josh? Yeah. Lop this one, you don't yeah, need that. Yeah, one. the front one. And this one, keep them short. Keep this short here. Yeah. Keep those short. And this one, if you take it back to about here. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that some people said, oh, I never imagined that you could make bonsai from holly. This is English holly. I know there's Japanese holly, but even English holly. Look at that beautiful trunk. Such a beautiful trunk. And look at that base, look at that base. And this was just a wild seedling. What we call collected tree from your own garden. I think we could even make the new leader over here on that one. That is a dead one, that can come out. But this side is well alive. I think if we had a hedge sledgehammer, we could probably knock that out. Yeah, holly is very hard, almost like ironwood. Look at that base. We might be able to get this in a flower pot because the root, uh, root system is quite good. Lots of fibrous roots. Look at all these fibrous roots. That will help the tree to grow. But that thick root we will probably cut off. We don't need it that thick. So you can see the makings of a nice bonsai from something we dug out of the hedge. And just to show you the genuine holly, look at the red berry there, holly berry. And that all that scarring gives character to the tree. So this will become a nice bonsai in time. Okay, can cut that. Yeah, that's it. Nice new leader there. So we will be potting this up. So it just goes to show what you can get for free. Okay. So what have we got here? This is a stump of a plum tree. Some of my plum trees got too big and they were growing in the wrong place, so I decided to get rid of it. But this is the root stock, so I know that with an axe I can separate it and get several trees out of it. So you must think I'm crazy, but we deal in big bonsai. And if we tease away from the surface, I dare say you'll find a lot of beautiful Nebari or base there, which will make it look really powerful. See, look at that base, look at that base. Scrap away this side. So this will be, if, even if I didn't separate it, it would make a nice clump style. But I dare say you could just separate it with an axe and we will get several trees from this. And they have white flowers, so it could be quite an interesting tree. Can you cut that long root from that side? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn it over. Can you tip it over? Let's see what it's like from this side. So this hopefully should give you some ideas to what we deal with. 
and it's got such a lot of fibrous root so this will certainly grow again but before we plant it I think I will bring an axe and split it because I think it would be too big for one tree so each of these could be made into separate three or four trees I don't know whether you can use the digger to no, you can't, isn't it? No. Okay, so there you go.